Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Happy Independence Day if you haven't seen our Independence Day uh, special. Uh, if you did, I hope you like it. Uh, otherwise, let's get to it. Right away, we have found the ZL1 a new home. So the Trio 1 is getting a new home. So we just pulled up to cargo trailer sales. We're gonna go in the office right now and find our new uh, buggy. Buggy. Coffee. Okay, let's go see the trailer. So here it is. This is the brand new trailer. It is, uh, it's a little bit shorter. We want it shorter and lighter. Not that the Denali can't handle it, but I want it a little easier and I want it ease to get in. Dan here has been helping us the whole process. He's been like, F this guy. It hasn't been that bad. Not, not yet. There's still time. Trailer brakes work. Look at that. Man, this thing's fancy. Fanciness! The only problem with those things is that you can't open your hatch then. Have you tried? I did. Sometimes I did. you can. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't. I did not wind up as fortunate. So I get a small trailer, so I feel bigger. Man, I'm running late on getting to the shop, and uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get back to the shop first, and then I'm gonna show you guys the rest of the trailer. There is some really awesome things about this particular trailer that you guys have to see, and why I'm getting it, which is gonna make my life a lot easier. So my initial impression of this trailer is. It doesn't even feel like it's there. Um, there's a cop, so I gotta put this down. So now that the cop's gone, uh, not that I'm recommending that you guys do this, I can tell you that the trailer is really, it just doesn't feel like it's there. It's a little bit, uh, it's probably a little bit heavier than my open trailer and half the weight of my current enclosed trailer. Well, I guess now I have two current enclosed trailers, but I mean, it's there, but you can't really tell it's there. It's driving like a dream. I'm really happy with it so far. Uh, we're going to take it back to the shop and I'm going to show you the rest of it, including the cool features and the reason why I decided to get this bad boy. Okay, there's the old trailer. Here's the new trailer. You can see how the old trailer is, well, it's a, it's a pretty big trailer. I'm going to stand like right between so you guys can see the, the differences here because here's the new guy. It's, it's definitely a smaller trailer compared to this big boy look at that like it's kind of deceiving because oh my gosh I can't even do I'm gonna have to go with super wide zoom hang on a second guys okay so you can see uh, this is a big boy trailer behind me I'm on my super wide angle on the Google Pixel 3 Booyah. and then behind me is the other one now I'm equidistant from both of them you can see how this is a much smaller trailer so I gotta show you the coolest features here if I can pull the keys out without pulling all the... What the hell? I have so many keys. What the... Boom! It's all open. Look at that. We have... So this is what's going to make my life so much easier. Even though it's a smaller trailer, you can see how the straps are up top here. The uh, We got a door on both sides so I could reach in to the car and get it here. Oh, look! An escape hatch! I will actually be able to get out of the car. And here's one for the rears if I need to like tighten anything here. Ah, uh, but there's more. There's more. Look at this. Integrated race ramps. So for some of those, you know, low cars, I have an integrated race ramp system in it now. Hell yeah. Look at that. That's amazing. And then the stairs. We have stairs here. This is ridiculous. Look at that. So, in the trailer, it's it's tall. Not really. Like, it actually makes me feel tall. Like, I... Did I almost touch? Oh, man, I almost knocked myself out. Well, we also have some fancy switches here. There's lights that went on. See that? Look at that. Got lights. More lights. Floor lights. I think there's some back there. Yeah, see how that works out? And then a big bright one that you can't see really well because, well, it's just really bright out right now. 
And I think that one can change direction too. Or is that outside as well? Does this go outside? So this guy, I guess you can... Ah! So... Okay, so you can aim this wherever you want it to be. So that's cool. You just need to tighten that in so it doesn't fall down. That would suck. So there's many reasons why I wanted this one, even though it is smaller, over Gigantor over here. And uh, one is, since it is smaller, I should be able to tow easier. Not that this is hard to tow with the Denali or anything, but this is going to be at least 3,000 pounds lighter than anything that I was doing with that. So it should, it, it should make for an easier job and less stress on the engine, especially for that long trip that we're going to take to Kentucky. Uh, which, I mean, we just towed that thing, this thing down to North Carolina, so it's like, pfft, like it, it doesn't really matter. Like, it, it handled it just fine, but I think that it's going to be easier. I can't wait to find out. And then, two, uh, I'm turning old. I'm, so I'm 35. It's not old, really, but, you know, I'm, I don't move like Gumby anymore. I used to be, like able to get through all the spaces you probably saw in one of the last videos where I climbed through the trunk to load my or to unload my Camaro from the other one and I also climbed out of it when I did load it in I mean it was just like stuff that I really don't want to do anymore I want to literally just drive in be like drive right in and then be able to get out the door and so this one which is a good thing for me was sitting on the lot for basically two years. It's some kind of Corvette prototype. I love the name Corvette. And uh, because of that prototype-ish stuff, uh, it didn't really sell. And since it didn't sell, I got a hell of a deal. Oh my God, thousands upon thousands off of retail. And uh, yeah, I, I think that this is really cool. This, I mean, it's hell. This is almost like something that you could set up with the family too. If I put a TV on the wall or something in here, I mean, we could could do a lot with this. This is almost like a camper as well if I don't put a car in there. I like it. I like it a lot. I just love this. I love being able to get out. Like I don't and I don't have to like put this anywhere uh, like some of the uh, the other trailers. I mean, literally it's just there and I can get out. I can step on it. Come on down. I can sit down on it like just have seats. Seats for days. So when I go to an event, I have the table right in front of this. You know, I have, you know, my seats. I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, I think it's going to work out really well. And it's a good time to get it because we're going down to Camara Fest in a couple days. And look who showed up. The wife, so I exciting. I was working hard when I showed up. <laughs> Sitting around in their new trailer, just doing nothing. Just we like were last time I showed up. We no, were legit. Like, we were like, it. yeah, for an event, oh, yeah, we can sit down. So You, you just picked the perfect time. You get out of your car. Get out. I know you wore the secretary for the day. You took like, you, you took good notes here. Thank you so much. Yeah, this is why I love you because we got this fantastic teamwork. Here, take a look at the trailer. It is much smaller. And look, the doors open. Like you have stuff everywhere. Oh wait, so this isn't the one with the stuff in the front? Like right. Okay. Yeah, this doesn't have anything. This is a smaller trailer, but sit down right there. Like, so for an event, we don't even have to bring chairs. Oh, what are you doing? Just like, chilling out. It's my day off. Oh, it is. My employer is nicer than yours. We got a four day weekend for the 4th of July. Yeah, so I was saying that we can have like, the booth right in front of here, and then we could even be sitting like, right on the, uh, um, the steps. So the car goes in, I can actually open the door instead of like running out the trunk. It's got lights and stuff in it. I mean, the other one has lights in it too, but this is like new and nice. If you're strapping the rear wheels or something, you can get to it. Like, it gives you access to something. I don't know if it's in the right place or not, but. <laughs> probably better to have it than not especially yeah. because this has been sitting around since 2018 yeah, this is supposed to be a prototype it's called a corvette trailer really? it's actually tall the n normal one is a foot lower or something like that no way yeah for a corvette uh, yeah but look at the like, even like what are you six two 
Yeah, but it's for I'm the cor- it, it's for Corvette. If you're sitting in the Corvette, you'll fit in here just fine. I'm gonna get out, bud. Uh, we got a spam caller. Let's answer it. Oh, they hung up already. I already took a spam caller. Did you? I think Volkswagen's the big market, though, because out of all the calls I took for you today, too, are about the APR tunes. I guess I was like, I love Volkswagen. I have one. I keep friends. And they were like, okay, bye. So, guys, there you have it. She's a beauty of a trailer. I'm really excited to take it down to that maiden voyage down to Kentucky. It's a hell of a long way for a maiden voyage, but that's what we're going to do. So the Trio 1 gets a home away from home. Sorry for clickbaiting the hell out of you guys, making you, some of you think that we're selling the Trio 1. We're not selling the Trio 1 anytime soon. Uh, too much to do with it and too many records to break. So we'll see you guys down at Camaro Fest. Next video, I'm going to show you guys... Uh, uh, basically the Andrew build in its entirety from start to finish on a blue zeal one that we're doing except this one has a Whipple and it's also got our new fancy trunk tank so we'll see you then have a good one guys